Welcome to the Monday, October 19th, 2015 edition of Erner Barry's Market Video, sponsored by Absano's Market Insight Report. In today's video, China Fishery Group gets a credit downgrade. Then later, the movers of the week from the HRI Buyer's Guide are highlighted. But first, with a look at the current supply situation in the hog market, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. Slaughter-ready hog supplies typically undergo seasonal growth during the fall, and the figures are indicating the trend is underway. Weekly slaughters in August averaged just under 2.2 million head, and in September moved up to nearly 2.28 million for non-holiday weeks. Last week's estimate at 2.318 million was the largest since December of 2013. The arrival of cooler temperatures, ideal for hogs, along with new crop corn beginning to be used in the feed rations, are contributing to increased daily weight gains. With the hogs growing faster, producers may elect to sell them a few days earlier. Live and carcass weights typically rise at this time of year as well. For continued coverage on the livestock market, subscribers should click on the news link under the Red Meat tab in Comtel. In other news, China Fishery Group gets a credit downgrade. Here with the story is Seafood News staff writer Michael Ramsing. Moody's Investor Service assessed a negative outlook for China Fishery Group on its way to downgrading the company's credit rating late last week. The adjustment was based on an expectation that the anchovy season in Peru is in the midst of severe disruption from the El Nino weather pattern. Earlier this month, a survey of Peru's commercial anchovy fishery found the stock's biomass to be about half of its volume compared to last year. The estimate was far below the acceptable legal level for commercial fishing activity outlined in the country's fishery management protocols. Peruvian fishery officials said the assessment would likely force them to to delay the fishing season to the April of next year. For China Fishery, this means about 60% of its revenue stream could be at risk, and is what prompted Moody's negative credit assessment and outlook, out of fears that China Fishery will face significant cash flow issues in the weeks and months ahead. Read more about Peru's anchovy problems at seafoodnews.com and get in-depth market analysis using the Seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks, Mike. Now we take a look at Ernerberry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels restaurants and institutions. Here's market reporter Gary Morrison with the latest Movers of the Week. We have talked about buying opportunities in the beef complex for nearly two months now, but we also spoke that seasonal should shift and that turn can come at any time. The lower prices have prompted increased activity across the board. Now holiday items seem to be starting to garner the attention that was pushed back slightly from the typical start. Prices on ribeyes moved 5.44 percent higher. Chicken tender promotions are not strong enough to offset the industry's available supply. In 2014, chicken white meat was a hot commodity for retailer and food service operators alike, but that's not the case this year. Since there's an abundance of available protein, sellers are being forced to entertain discounted bids in order to keep their inventories clean, and our listed quotations have adjusted lower to reflect that. Shell egg prices continued their declines from all-time highs through the front half of October. Retail prices have been well above normal, especially given the lack of feature activity being reported in the marketplace. Wholesale trades are now trying to hold asking prices, with the expectation that seasonal demand increases will occur as buyers take inventory positions ahead of the holiday season. Thanks, Gary. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by Absano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Absano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.